Laura Swindle, age 94, of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. today at Cullman Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will be in Oak Hill Cemetery. The body will lie in state one hour prior to service. Funeral services for Mrs. Donna Olida McKay, age 66, of Cullman, will be tomorrow at 1 p.m. at Neesmith Methodist Church. Burial will follow in the adjoining cemetery with Reverend Stetton Hayes officiating. She will lie in state at the church from 11 a.m. until service time. The family will receive friends at the church uh, tomorrow from 11 a.m. until the service begins at 1 p.m. Funeral services for James Merle Jimmy Jones, age 89, of Hansville, will be held tomorrow at 11 a.m. at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel, interment with military honors in Hopewell Cemetery. The family will receive friends today from 6 to 8 p.m. this evening and tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. Hansville Funeral Home is directing. Those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Better when you're coming back if you win, yeah, right? You're exactly right. Tim, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's go back and battle with you that came a little bit if you win. It's meeting in the regional game um, tomorrow night in the home opener. The Eagles are going to travel to Cordova and Walker County this Friday evening. Looking to remain. Johnny Thornton analyzes Coleman Bearcat football. Coleman County kickoff is set for 7 o'clock this Friday night. Good luck, Coach, to you. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. presents today on two it is monday the 11th day of august and boy do we have a day to celebrate today oh goodness welcome what is back that? Ashley Mullins Mullins with the better business bureau hello and this hello. is august is goat cheese month okay have you, ever, have you ever had goat cheese I, I, I do i have it's kind of bland how okay, much well, you're ahead of me. Oh, yeah. I've never had some. Yeah. I don't know if I want any. No, well, it's not bad. <laughs> okay. It's not bad. What it's do you, just, what do you, just like regular cheese? No, it's not like you're American or anything. It's white. It's usually kind of soft. It's, uh, mm, comes either in a tube or something. Put it on sandwiches or you cook it? Uh, you could put it like in salads or you could put oh, it, uh, okay. you wouldn't really necessarily put it on a sandwich like American cheese, you know, okay. it's not stamped in a square. And, 
<laughs> well, anyway, we have the whole month. Okay. To celebrate goat cheese. Goat cheese. Yes, we we tell you things here you don't find out on a lot of other TV I shows. I know. I tell right? you, it's this wonderful information that all day long you're going. Oh, it's goat cheese month. That's Did you right. know it's goat uh, cheese month? That's right. I heard that on Channel Two. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give a gift <laughs> to your best friend. <laughs> well, let's turn to the weather forecast. Boy, we had some rain yesterday. Yeah. Maybe more today. Don't be fooled by the way it looks right now. It could be a rainy day today. Our weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Here's the al almanac for the 11th of August. The average high still 92. The average low still 66. The record high 102 in 1999. The record low 57 in 1967. Sunset at 739 and sunrise tomorrow morning at a few minutes I didn't after six. I didn't pay okay, they're trying to get us through this in a big hurry. Okay, here's the forecast for today. 80% chance of showers wow. and thunderstorms today, with a high around 90, 80% chance of rain tonight, low of 70. Tomorrow the rain chance drops and the temperature a little bit, 87 for a high tomorrow. The rest of the week, sort of like it was a week or two ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, look at here. 84, wow. 86, 89, 91 by the weekend. But for the middle of August, look at those lows. 61, 61, 64. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. yeah. So had a really nice summer. We really have had a great summer, haven't we? Yeah. It was hot and steamy yesterday, but yes. other than that, it was, you know, it's still, it hasn't been bad. I took weather. the dog out for a walk uh, late yesterday afternoon and I could hear thunder and the wind changed on us and I thought, do your business, we're headed <laughs> home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because it was coming. It was yes. coming. <laughs> so he did and we did. Okay, good. <laughs> Got home just in time. Good, good, good. Okay, Facebook friend of the day. Who's our friend for today? Let's take a look at that. Terry Abbott is our friend. And let's see if I can find it on here. She likes country music and Grey's Anatomy. So very good. And thank you for being our friend. We're going to go ahead and give you that large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come by here first. Pick up that certificate. We okay. haven't talked politics for a while. Okay. But we are today. <laughs> okay. And I think tomorrow <laughs> it's starting, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah. it's usually a figure of Labor Day weekend, but yeah. uh, we're going to get a little jump on that. Yeah. We had the primary and the runoff, and so we still have a general election coming up in November. Yes, we do. And a lot of people, I think, have thought, oh, it's all over, but it's not. Right. And the people so, out campaigning know that it's not. That's huh? true. Who's our <laughs> guest today? Well, Dr. Mancuso, Angeli uh, and Angelo. Angelo just wouldn't come out right. Angelina didn't sound quite right. I don't think he'd like that name. Huh? Mancuso. And, of course, he is running for state senate against Senator Paul Busman, the uh -huh. incumbent. So we're going to visit with him. And then I guess we've got our regular birthdays and trivia and all kinds of the good stuff that we normally yeah. do. So we will talk with Doc Mancuso right after this. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. That's how fast the health information technology profession is projected to grow this decade. That's how much a health information technician can make in the first year. Who will you be? Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life with somebody from my hometown. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. continue with 
more of Today on 2. Dr. Angelo Mancuso is our guest today. He was with us a few weeks ago, months? maybe two or three months ago. Yeah, it seems like a couple of months ago, Something yeah, like that. during that primary time. Yeah, and for people who didn't see that interview, let's start with a biography. Give us a little background about yourself. Uh, see, I'm a physician, a dermatologic surgeon. I do can cancer surgery. I've been in Alabama close to 30 years. Uh, actually helped down here in Coleman in the medical community when you had lost your uh, dermatologist. So uh, I was here for a couple of years, at least uh, about four. And it was because of the people in Coleman that I actually wound up getting involved in politics. I was a for, uh, former state representative for Madison, uh, Limestone County, and Morgan County. Okay. So now I had a time for retirement. And then after we had that problem with um, IP b shutting down, mm -hmm. I wasn't happy with the way the... Uh, the present uh, legislature and uh, administration was handling the issue. So I was asked to, if I would consider running. And after talking with my family and you know, my patients, it, we all decided that that would, might be a good thing. And give people an, another opportunity, you know, another choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Choice is great. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so you're kind of familiar with this because you've done it before. I've right? done it before. I've been around the block, yeah. OK. So this won't be a new thing for you. No, no, you know, it's a new thing in the sense that, you know, you're meeting a whole bunch of new people. It's a different position. Uh, I was a state representative before. Now it's a Senate seat. Mm -hmm. And um, and the situation is different in the state, if you, in the nation. If you look at what's concerning most people today, it's a whole lot different than it was, let's say, in 98 to 2002. Mm -hmm. But there are some similarities. Mm -hmm. You know, economics is always number one, no matter how you do it. Um, one of the problems is that you find that um, pol Pure politicians love people to be emotionally charged. And then that way they vote on uh, emotional issues. Mm -hmm. And that's not good. Right. You know, and I think that one of, my, uh, one of my jobs is to have people step back and say, OK, this is what they're doing to us to get us emotionally charged. But how, what are, what are these other candidates going to be doing to help me, my family, and move Alabama forward? And I think that's, a, that's really important. So let's say one of the big issues I think that right now just happens to separate uh, one side from another side, including myself from uh, the, the senator that I am uh, running against, is Medicaid expansion. Now everybody thinks that Medicaid expansion is, oh, you know, it's for people who are uh, poor people and that they're going to be getting a whole bunch of free things like free housing. This Medicaid expansion has nothing to do with that. This Medicaid expansion has to do with health issues. And we're not dealing with people that are uh, necessarily uh, the poverty-stricken people, because now we're having a whole bunch of new people being added to the roles. Now, these are people who are, who've had a job and who have lost a job, or for people who have a job but were, uh, their hours might have been cut back. So now they're in a position where they're either under unemployed, they're underemployed. You know, the, these people had full-time jobs, and they were productive people in the, in the community, and now they're finding themselves a little shortchanged. And so we're talking about people who are Republicans and Democrats, and people who are independent. And, and that's what this, this issue is about. If you look at um, Coleman itself, the, one of the biggest employers, in fact, one of the number one employers for, Al for Coleman is uh, the medical center. Mm -hmm. they, imply, they employ oh, about 1,100 people. That's the same amount of people that employed IP. Now, you could imagine if, if that uh, hospital went under. Well, that would uh, create a tremendous hardship in this area. Mm -hmm. And then you have the people, let's say, from, uh, let's say, the Republican side. Now, I, I don't like to distinguish between Republicans and Democrats. I like just ideas. And that's what we should be going with, is just ideas. Now, the hospitals need the extra money because people have to be treated, whether they have insurance or they don't have insurance. If they present themselves to the hospital, the hospital has to accept them, and they have to be treated. Now, the hospitals aren't being reimbursed. Having the Medicaid expansion will now um, kind of ease the pain that these hospitals are going through. In Alabama alone, we have lost seven hospitals in the last three years, and 22 hospitals are on the chopping block. So this is, so for an economic reason, that's one thing. Now, for a health reason, that's a whole different ballgame. People need to be treated. There should be a certain standard of care that an average family should have. And then you have another group of people that will say, well, the studies have shown that, if you, uh, that it's going to create 300, 
300,000 jo 300, jobs, and, or 30,000 jobs, I think that's it, 30,000 jobs, but it's supposed to help between 200,000 and 300,000 people in Alabama alone. But let's say, let's say it didn't create one job. Let's say it did not create one job. But the good thing is that it won't lose jobs because the hospitals will have to cut back. That's business. So when you're running a business and now you're accepting people that you're treating, you're using supplies, you're using your, uh, you know, your staff, you know, your nurses, your doctors, the lab techs, and the equipment. Now, if, if the hospital has to say, okay, we have to cut back, we're not gonna take the Medicaid expansion, and we have to cut back, they're gonna cut back on employees. So now you're gonna see a little more uh, rise in the unemployment rate. And this state, and this town, and this county, they, they can't afford that. I mean, think I about it. I want to go back just a little bit, though. Sure. Because you're talking about Medicaid and expanding it to right. where it, it incorporates more people. More people yes. have access to it. Right. But Medicaid is a state-funded, whereas Medicare is a, is a federal-funded type program. Is oh, that correct? No, no. Uh, Medicaid and Medicare are both federally funded. Now, what happens is, if you look, the money comes, from, there is money that, is, that comes from uh, the federal government, mm -hmm. and then there is money that is put up by the state. Mm -hmm. And there's usually a certain percentage. Like right now, to run regular Medicaid, that's for the people who, let's say for housing and food and all these kind of things, you're looking at about a 68% where the federal government gives the money to, let's say, the state. And then the state would have to come up with the other, let's say, what is that, 23,000, 23%. In this new Medicaid expansion, which I'm in for, I'm for a temporary Medicaid expansion, not, okay, we're accepting it and away we go. There is a trial period where you have three years where the federal government pays all the money. The only thing Alabama has to come up with is, um, is the administration cost of running that program for those additional people. So, and that's a 90-10. So, at that point, uh, we, after the three years, let's say if Alabama said, hey, this is, a this is working well for us. They only have to come up with 10%, where now they're coming up with 20-something percent. So there's a big difference. But the first three years of the, federal, of the Medicaid expansion for health only is free. But what after the three yeah, years? After, after the three years, well, that's a whole different ballgame. And that's why I say a temporary. Because that way we're able to um, evaluate what the response is and if it's actually beneficial for Alabama and can Alabama afford this down the road and we hope that the economy picks up because Alabama as you know is the number one state where unemployment has the highest numbers out of 50 states we are the number one we have we have distinguished ourselves as that and that's not acceptable we are higher than the national average and it, it seems that you know we are you know we, we have a high uh, poverty rate in this state and this, again, this is affecting people that at one time had a job and, were, and would can be considered, let's say, oh, I was a productive individual, but now I'm underemployed because of cer certain things that are happening, whether the, their companies are cutting out their, their positions, they're trying to, uh, you know, cut back on costs like everything else to run a business. We're almost out of time. Sure. But once the three years is up, doesn't the government kind of say, okay, you tried this for three years now, it's, now you're obligated to. No, you don't, no. That's why it's temporary, and that's why it's a three-year trial. You, once you accept the money, does not mean that down the road you have to continue to accept the money. That's a fallacy. But you know, every time they increase taxes and they say, oh, well, this is just temporary, mm -hmm. it's never temporary. It's always, then they just in, keep increasing and keep no, increasing. It, no, so. you know what? The good thing about it is, is that Alabama, the legislature, is actually administers and can dictate how they want that program to run. Just like right now, the Medicaid program does not have to run the way it's running right now. It could be run much more efficient. And if, you, if you've been following what's going on in Medicaid, there was a doctor that was appointed by Governor Bentley, who then after a year and uh, two months, he resigned. And now there isn't anybody taking that place. And as a result, Alabama had to divide itself into six, five to six districts to run how Medicaid is being taken care of. And right now, let's say um, for, for the district that involves Coleman, that uh, the one who administers over that is Huntsville Hospital. So now you have an outside entity having uh, a, an effect on what's going on here. And that's not acceptable either. 
So there's a lot of things that can be done. It just depends if we get a teamwork uh, from both sides to sit down. And it's best to be nonpartisan in this and say, what's best for Alabama? And again, pilot programs are always the best thing. I don't like sweeping legislation. I think that's probably one of the worst things that could ever happen, is when they pass a rule or they pass a law, why not start it as a pilot program? And then you, you try it in a small area and give it time. And if it works, great. Then you could implement it. But why make these sweeping policies and changes that, that are basically to the negative of Alabama? That's not good. A lot going on. Yes, huh? there is. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yes. And we have other issues to talk about, but we'll have to do that at another time. That yeah. sounds great. We can keep moving on. Okay. <laughs> I got plenty. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll be back with more right after this. KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. He got a safe driver headed toward the freeway. He is doing 44 in a 45. Now in the nation, like safe just got a little more exciting. Add vanishing deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Just another way we put members first. Because we don't have shareholders. Bill, that's perfect merge. That was just, that was flawless. Nationwide is on your side. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. We continue more of Today on 2, and this part of our program, we're going to show you some ads and hopefully give away a prize or two today. Hopefully. Let's see what we have for prizes for today. We have Mad Dog Mike's <coughs> famous barbecue, the family barbecue pack. We have the large pizza, courtesy of Pizza Hut. And we have another t-shirt to give away, uh -huh. courtesy of Grand Point Pharmacy. Angie Veal left that the other day, yeah. so uh, those are the prizes we have for today. Let's start looking at our ads. We'll ask you a question about one of these merchant ads. Starting with Dairy Queen, where the blizzard of the month, Chips Ahoy! And don't forget the five buck lunch available every day from 11 until 4 at Dairy Queen. And that includes dessert. You can get a blizzard for an extra dollar. And Renard's Gallery and Gifts, jewelry, framing, prints available. Go by there, visit. Uh, they'd just love for you to stop in and see and shop around. They've got a great big store. Go by Renard's Gallery and Gifts today. Earl's Body Shop, voted best automotive repair in Coleman in the recent best of the best survey. They, of course, do towing and uh, offer 24-hour service. Harvell Homes in Coleman and Good Hope area. Houses and apartments for rent, two to six bedroom, single home, family homes, and one to two bedroom apartments available. Mr. Hicks Menswear, your headquarters for bow ties. Oh. Might be the only place in town for bow ties, come yeah. to think of it. And, of course, they have regular big and tall size clothing. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue featuring the family pack for just $14.99. It includes a pound of meat, two 16-ounce sides, and four buns located right there inside the Berlin Quick Stop. 
Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center is the full fitness center. And of course, the uh, offer to uh, let you save money by buying a membership, but you can pay by the day if you want to, the Wellness and Aquatic Center. Chesley Oaks Golf Course opens 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. 18 hole golf course, full practice facility, beautifully manicured bed greens, all this right there in Chesley Oaks. There's Pizza Hut where they have the all you can eat lunch buffet from 11 until 2 every day, priced at just $6.49 at Pizza Hut. There we go with some of the merchant ads we have for today. Question for today is about Pizza Hut. Just had the ad up there. Which day of the week is pasta day? Yeah. Um, the family size pasta, pasta is available. Which day of the week? And uh, let's see, we have uh, the pizza from Pizza Hut. We okay. have barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue. have the t-shirt from Grand Point Pharmacy. Our number is 256-734-7399. And we do have a caller ready to go, so we'll see if we can give away our prize. Once again, which day of the week is pasta day at Pizza Hut? Hello, who's calling? Luetta. Hi, Luetta. From where are you calling? Coleman. Okay, which day is pasta day? Tuesday is the right answer. Stay on the line, please. Thanks for calling in. Yes, Tuesday, Family Pasta Day at Pizza Hut. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the rest of our ads right now. We'll talk about these in future programs. You want to just make them up as we go along? I think we could do that. Okay. We should know Pick that by now. <laughs> okay, here we go with our ads for today. Auto Tech Repair and Service. They have electronic diagnostics to figure out what may be wrong with your vehicle. And they do major engine repair, transmission, and brake repair. Cotton State Barns. Buy or rent to own. No credit check. Your approved carports, playsets, utility trailers, storage buildings. Located right there on Highway 278 West, just past I-65. Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. They have the license inflatables, the slides, and bulk slide combos. They also rent concession equipment. Call 256-620-JOLLY. Brown & Company Beverages, right next to the Ford dealership on Highway 157, keeping you cool this summer. Chill out and visit the Bear Cave. All the best brands, domestics, imports, local, and regional beverages. Tires for Less has Bridgestone, Firestone tires, but they have much, much more. They do alignments, they replace shocks and brakes, and do oil changes. It's my party. Balloons of all shapes and sizes, singing telegrams from Lulu the Gorilla, anything you need for any type of party located right there on 2nd Avenue. Deb's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore. Gift certificates available, browsers always welcome, and books, every book, always on sale at Deb's Bookstore. Grand Point Pharmacy, coffee and gifts available, but of course they make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough. They're located right there on 2nd Avenue. Mullins Body Shop, over 50 years they've been doing auto body repair and service and you can count on them each and every day. 256-734-1353. There we go with the merchant ads for today. Coming up next we have community billboards. We'll check out the birthdays and anniversaries for today as well as the weather so stay tuned for that. Hi I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank and I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. That's how many registered nurses the national job market will need in this decade. Will you be one of them? across the country. That's the median annual pay for RNs. Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Fire. Accident. Storm. 
They all have it in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Now it's time for our community billboards, brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Philip Shirley is doing a book signing at Deb's Bookstore on Saturday, August the 16th, The White Lie. This is from 9 until 11. This looks very interesting. I saw a little write-up on this. The Senior Spirit Program, Saturday, August the 23rd, will feature a big band dance featuring Sentimental Journey. Admission is $5 at the Donnelly Green Center. And Coleman Area Autism Networking Group inviting individuals of all ages with delays or disabilities that are related to autism and their families to the monthly group meeting on Saturday, August the 16th from 5 until 7 p.m. The meeting will feature the new special needs theater program. Location is at the Margaret Jean Jones Center. Free continuing education for nurses and social workers is going to be taking place on... Saturday. Yep, Saturday, August the 23rd. There it is. And registration is from 7.30 to 8. But actually, you do need to register in advance. It is being held at Westminster. Those following organizations, of course, are all taking part in this. But you get four free credits for the nurses and social workers. And the Coleman Rock Concert 2014 is the show starts at 7. It'll be held at the Civic Center on August the 22nd. It's just $10 and they are featuring barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue and of course tickets you can call them at that number and then if you have a community billboard you want to share with us you can go to channel2coleman.com our website give us a call 256-734-7399 or be a friend on Facebook Channel 2 Coleman. And we'd like to wish Tyler Trakel, I guess, and Sharon Drake each a happy birthday. Their name will be put into the drawing where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. The weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. It will be mostly cloudy today. We have an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms today with a high around 90. Once again, 80% chance of precipitation tonight, low of 70. Tomorrow, a much, much better day. Slight chance of rain with a high of 87. We are going to talk politics again tomorrow. Right. James Fields is going to be here. He's running for lieutenant governor, mm -hmm. and we're going to visit with him tomorrow. That's what we have lined up. Okay, that's our program for today, brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day.